Hi, Rob Fletcher here in Columbus, Ohio at the Arnold Sports Festival with ASF TV. You know, every segment, or not every segment, but we do a few segments, 10, 20 segments, and then I always I say, wow, that was, that was the best segment. But here I am again with Nick Scott, totally showing me up, best dressed, best looking, look at him. But this is so cool. So Nick, you know, my whole thing is about transformation, Nick, it's about change, and it's about really inspiring people that regardless of the adversity, the challenge, you step up, you never give up, you believe in yourself, you never quit, and you keep moving forward. And I am really honored to be doing this interview right now. This is so cool. So, head of the IFBB Pro Division, tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, basically, my name is Nick Scott. I'm from Kansas. I'm actually the official Arnold Classic Pro Wheelchair Chairman and the official voice for the NPC and IFBB for wheelchair bodybuilding, the sport of wheelchair bodybuilding. I've competed against pose over 250 times around the world, events, competitions, high schools, venues, because I'm a professional speaker, as well as a professional Latin ballroom dancer. So I have, I'm very diverse, because it's about showing everybody and anybody, if, they, if I can do it, you can do it too. That is so cool. I, I'm like, get, literally, I, I get chills when I hear this sort of thing, because it's the message, Nick, that not just America needs to hear, it's the world needs to hear. Because those are the things that you don't know what you're going to trigger, what thought will trigger in someone else out there thinking that why this happens or why that happens. And then they look and they see and they hear your words of inspiration. So uh, first, if you don't mind, what, uh, what exactly happened? Back in August of 98, I was in a car accident my left front tire blew out as I got on a bridge. It pulled me to the right, so I pulled to the left, and a vehicle was coming. And as it was coming head and on, I didn't want to hit the person, so I pulled to the right. And I got off the bridge, and my vehicle started to get sideways, and I went in the left ditch. And, it's, and you hear movies that time slows down and all that stuff. <laughs> it did, because I knew it was going to hit. So all I could think about was I closed my eyes, and I loose, loose my grip, and I said to the Lord, I'm in your hands now, and I hit. And all I could hear was the shattering glass, in the crushing metal as my car was rolling five and a half times and it ejected me out of the driver's side window and it, my car in midair hit me in the back and it broke my back and damaged my spine and the doctors diagnosed me as paraplegic and they said I would never be able to walk again. Wow. Uh, whew, that's a tough one. To, that's something. Um, well, this is my number one segment of the weekend. And we are now at about 3 o'clock, 3.30, and even if we were at 3 o'clock, 3.30, two weeks ago, one year ago, I don't think I'm going to get a better story than Nick Scott. Uh, Nick, you define, believe, and this is for you kids out there too. I mean, Nick speaks, you're a speaker, and you speak all around. Yeah, because so many people ask me, it's like, if you go back in time, would you change what happened? And the answer is no, because I believe that God gave me a purpose in this life. And that day I was about, that day of my accident, a part of me died. A boy died and a man evolved. Because when I was in the hospital, I realized that it didn't matter if my glass was half empty or half full. I was just grateful that I had a glass. And what people really need to understand is when you hit rock bottom, you at least realize you still have a rock because it's a perspective. It sees, it's how you see life in a different perspective because whatever happens in life it's not good news or bad news it's just news because it's it takes just as much energy to think about bad stuff as it is to think about good stuff because i became the number one wheelchair ballroom co uh, competitor in america and i became eventually the best ifbb pro wheelchair bodybuilder in the world but it wasn't about me or that and eventually after rehab i actually got sensation part of my legs and I wear braces, and everybody with disabilities have different disabilities. Mine's level, I'm incomplete. And the doctors diagnosed me as paraplegic, and they so told me that it'd be physically impossible to walk again. But the reality is the word impossible actually means I'm possible. It's what you believe, because people focus on hope. Hope is nothing. It's about having faith, because faith is believing without seeing. Because if I didn't have faith that I could do all this and believe that 
the Lord has guided me, I would never be in the position because I owe it all to him. Because one day, eventually I did, after many years of rehab, get to the point where I could. Stand up Damn. and walk short distance. Damn, I'm a- I need you for support. I need you for support, my man. That's right. Wow. All right. Hey. All right, we're gonna finish this interview as I stand up. This is the best story of the weekend. It is Nick Scott. <laughs> he is my new inspiration, and it all happened right here at ASF TV. You're the man. You are the man, Nick Scott. Yeah, and this year, this year is the second annual Bodybuilding.com 2017 Arnold Classic Pro Wheelchair, and I'm the official Arnold Classic Pro Wheelchair Chairman because I'm gonna expand this all over the world because it's not about like they're just bodybuilders, but it's about giving back. Because if people see if they can do it, you can do it too, right? I'm buying the book. That's right. I'm buying the book. I'm buying the Nick Scott book. <laughs> awesome. Nick Scott, Rob Fletcher, ASF TV. Never give up, never give in. Fight hard, fight strong, fight to win. That's how we do it! Yeah.